Arizona. Good morning. Amen. He 
He's been long suffering for us. Thank you. He has kept us Thank you, all the days of our life, whether we are young or old. The Lord has kept us. For I, let me say this and we're moving on. For I know for myself, I can speak for myself. Like David say, David said a long time ago that I was once, I was young. That's right. But now I'm old. Yes. But I never seen the righteous to say. Oh, right. Nor he'll see begging for no bread. He'll take care of us. With that being said, we want to invite you to pray with us and pray for yourself because the prayers of the righteous are very much. We know what you stand in need of. And God already knows what he told us to ask. And it shall be given. Knock and the door shall be open. See, and he shall find. He's here. He's only trust you. He's going to trust you. We're going to ask all of you who can't stand. I know some of you are, might not can stand, but you want to honor God. Mothers for us, and we want to thank you for just being God fearing mothers. All right, we just want to keep praying and guiding your children the way the Lord wants you to guide them. So, we want to pray for all the men that have been called this morning. I don't know how, but he's still here, he's still a doctor for one of those of us who are sick. Those of us who are in trouble, whatever we're going through, just turn it over to Him. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father, our God, we come now, Lord, as long as we know how in the name of Jesus. We come forward and thank you, Lord, for everything. We thank you for just watching over us on last evening as we slept and slumbered on last evening and tossed and turned. And he allowed us to wake up one more time in our right mind. Thank you for your amazing grace and mercy. Lord, you kept us through dangers seen and unseen. And we want to say thank you, Lord. We thank you for all the mothers that have gathered here this morning, Lord. And wherever they have gathered this morning, we ask you to just continue to walk with them and talk with them. Continue to guide them and keep them in your perfect will. Lord, if it comes, Lord, we come, Lord, as all as we know how. For first of all, Lord, we want to acknowledge that we have sinned, we have come short of your glory. And we pray your forgiveness of our sin. We thank you, Lord, Lord Jesus, for most of all for your dying for our sins. On the cross of Calvary and you buried in a borrowed tomb, but early the third day morning. Got up with all power in heaven and in earth for our justification. Well, how we thank you, Lord. We can't thank you for what you've done in our lives, but we can't say thank you, Lord. Thank you for being faithful to us. Thank you, Lord, for your promises, your covenant. Thank you for being long suffering for us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us, Father, through dangers seen and unseen. Lord, we ask you to hear our cry this morning. Whoever stand, Father, in your in your need this morning, whatever the need might be this morning, we ask you to touch, heal, and deliver those who are sick among us, those who don't know you in the part of our sin, whether it be Jews or Gentiles. Lord, have your own way. Keep us, Lord, in your perfect will, Lord. For realize, Father, that all of our help comes from you. So what we pray right now. That y'all would get, just have your way in all of our lives. Strengthen us where we'll be weak and build us up where we'll torn down. But Peter, please be with the Hamilton family. And not only the Hamilton family, but all family, Lord. Father, we know all. We can't do nothing unless you come. So, Lord, as we come this morning, 
we ask you we just take us out of self now, Lord, and Father, that we might be able to hear your voice. We ask you bless Pastor Adam as he come forward. Father, let him down in the deep church of your love, Lord. Let him speak a word. Father, that somebody might come calling out. What shall I do to be saved? Father, help him to decrease that you might increase. Open up our hearts, open up our minds. Oh, Father, that your word might come forth, Father. Oh, Father, if we ask right now that you would just have your way, Lord. For we rely on one of these days. One of these days, Lord, soon and very soon. It's going to be yours to call and I will answer. Help us, Lord, to keep running this race with patience. And Lord, when it's all said and done, Lord, give us a home. Give us a home somewhere with you, Lord. Where every day can be Sunday. The Sabbath will have no end. There will be no more dying, no, no more crying. For the former things have passed away. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. for everything. This is our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen.
They have the nerves to chat. Right. right. Have to spend right. countless hours, amen, upon hours, amen, training that child. Some of the very first words that children speak is not dead age. They said mother. Oh, amen. Amen. Mothers, amen. Mothers have a special place in the world. Amen. This day, society set aside, amen, it's only kept on the second Sunday in May of every year to honor our mothers. They said more money is spent on this day than any other day in the year, amen, celebration, amen, mothers. Yeah. You know what I think they deserve? It. Amen. Amen. Mother, you deserve the very best. Yeah. Amen. We shouldn't wait till the second Sunday in May to honor our mothers, our, yeah. our wives. Amen. But we should let them know everything. Yeah. Amen. Amen. How much we love them. That's right. A mother called by God. And love is an action word. Love is something. Amen. You just don't talk about it. Yeah. Come on now. But you ought to tell them on a day today basis how much I love you. Yeah. And then, amen, men often get it twisted, amen. She's not my mother, amen, but she birthed her children. Oh, yeah. Amen. You ought to tell that woman and let her know, amen, on this day how, how appreciative that you are of her. Amen. For the gift of giving you children, amen. Thank God for the gift. Yeah. Amen. That God has placed in your life. The old foolish says that they're behind every good man. Behind every good man, there's a woman. Oh, yeah. Amen. And I thank God for the women, amen, in my own personal life. Amen. 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 I thank God, amen, that I had some godly, godly mother, godly grandmother that trained us mm -hmm. in the ways of the world. Because yeah. they made much of the love of Regardless of how good or how bad. That mother will say, that's my child. Yeah. Amen. I don't care how bad that boy is, that girl is, that's still my child. Right. Amen. You didn't give birth to that child. You don't love that child. The way that I love that child. Yeah. Amen. And others will try to turn even mother against that bad child. But that mother said, amen, I, that's my child. Amen. Amen. I'm going to love my child until the end. Yeah. Amen. Say, man, you didn't have to spend nine months with that child. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to nourish that child. You, you didn't have to change that child's diaper. You didn't have to do all those things. Oh, yeah. So don't tell me what I will do for my child. Amen. Yeah, that mother that will raise all those children. Mm -hmm. Amen. When that one mother gets sick, mm -hmm. all those children don't have time to take care of that one mother. Mm -hmm. Amen. I let one children. Amen. How one mother can raise a house full of children. And then one that one mother needs some help. Nobody have time for that one mother. A mother called my God. Amen. Just as our mothers took care of us. Amen. Just as our mothers, amen, labored with us in the good and the bad time. Amen. We keep on living. Amen. Our health, amen, is not going to always be what it is today. Right. And we might need somebody to pin a lie on us. And then mother, you 
taught us, amen, and brought us into a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ yes. while we were young. You took us to church. Yes. Amen. And we stayed in the church. Yes. We stayed with the Lord. So, Mother, I thank you for all that you've done. I, yes. I can't thank you for the time, but I thank you for just nourishing me and bringing me up in the right way. Yes. I just come down with you, Mother, and say, I thank you for all that you've done. Yes. And sometimes those things mean more to a mother than any dollar amount. Yes. Amen. Yes. Taking them out to eat, that's good. I just want to say I love you. Yeah. I just want to say I thank you for all that you've done. Yeah. Amen. And this morning from Luke chapter 1, Mary, the mother of Jesus. What lessons can we learn yeah. from Mary, the mother of Jesus? Mm -hmm. Amen. A mother, amen, that's called by God, submits completely to God's will. Mm -hmm. Motherhood. Amen. Motherhood is never an easy thing. Because, amen, many times, amen, the children don't really understand, amen, what a mother goes through, and even the husband, the spouse, don't understand. All right. All yeah. right. Because, amen, when that child cries at night, amen, most times it's the mother. Yeah. Right. They get somebody to bed. Amen, go see about that child. And then as our children grow up, mm. amen, brother pray, and when something goes wrong, yeah. Amen. Even the father finds himself asking the children, says, what did your mom say about this situation? Right. Amen. Right. Mother's called by God, submits completely to the other people. She understands. Amen. What it's like to be a mother. Because she saw her mother. Right. Amen. And what her mother and grandmother had to do. Amen. Proverbs 31. Who can find a virtue? Yeah. For her cries is far above rubies. Mm. Amen. She's the kind of one that rises up early in the morning. Yeah. Amen. I don't know about you, but amen. A mother called by God submits completely to God's will. Amen. There's nothing that she won't do for a child. Amen. There's no amount of money that she won't spend on her child. Amen. The Father says, Amen. And really, we men, we fall slack because we, we put all the responsibility on the mother of the house. Amen. They said, Amen. I work hard. I bring the money in. Amen. You take care of the household. Yes, sir. Amen. <laughs> and Amen. The man says, Amen. You take care of all that stuff. Amen. The man says, and when something goes wrong, the man says, Huh, well, you didn't tell me about it. But amen. The mother says, the mother called by God submits completely to God's will. Yeah. In the good and in the bad. Yeah. Because when she birthed that child, amen, she never had it. Or, amen, I don't know what this child will be. Yeah. But I thank you for the gift of a child. Right. When Mary was only a teenager, she was confronted with the challenge to be completely submitted to God's will. When, when Gabriel gave her the angelic message that she was going to Carry the Christ out. Mary was stunned. Amen. But Mary never wavered in her complete submission to God's will. Amen. She was the one, brother, was going to, amen, abandon that child. So many mothers, they made used to a, a womb was the safest place for a child to be. But now we have so many mothers that are not committed to childhood. Amen. They would abort that child. They would kill that child away. Amen. But thank the 